Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing the roadmap to Flutter in 2023. If you're interested in mobile app development or looking to improve your skills, then this video is for you. I'm going to give you an overview of Flutter and the steps you need to take to master it. For those of you who are new to Flutter, it is an open-source mobile application development framework that allows you to build beautiful, natively compiled applications for mobile, web, and desktop from a single codebase. Flutter has gained popularity in the mobile development community because of its ease of use, fast development cycle, and beautiful user interface. Current State of Flutter So, let's start by discussing the current state of Flutter in 2023. Flutter is continuously evolving and improving, with updates and new features being added regularly. As of 2023, Flutter has become the most popular cross-platform mobile development framework and is widely adopted by developers worldwide. Flutter's latest updates include improved performance, enhanced accessibility, new widgets, and a better user interface. The Flutter team is continuously working to improve Flutter's stability and quality to make it an even better choice for building mobile applications. Why should you learn Flutter? For starters, Flutter allows you to build high-quality, native-looking apps for both iOS and Android platforms with a single code base. This means you can save time, effort, and resources while delivering a consistent user experience across multiple platforms. Another benefit of learning Flutter is the ease of use and flexibility it provides. Flutter's hot reload feature allows you to see changes in real time without having to restart your app, while the Flutter widgets provide a powerful and customizable way to build UI. Moreover, many popular apps have been built with Flutter, such as the Google Ads app, the Hamilton app, and the Reflecty app. These success stories show that Flutter is not just a promising technology, but also a practical one. Roadmap to learning Flutter in 2023 Now, let's get into the roadmap to learning Flutter in 2023. Here are the steps you can take to become a Flutter expert. Step 1. Before you start learning Flutter, it is important to have a strong foundation in programming concepts. Flutter uses the Dart programming language. So it would be helpful to have some familiarity with it or a similar language such as Java or c -sharp. If you are new to programming, there are many resources available online to help you get started. Flutter is built with the Dart programming language so it's important to have a good understanding of Dart in order to effectively use Flutter. If you're new to Dart, it may be helpful to start with an introduction to the language before diving into Flutter. There are many good crash courses available. You can take any crash course. Some recommended Dart crash courses are mentioned in the description. Step 2. Set up your development environment with Flutter SDK, which includes everything you need to develop Flutter apps. You can follow the installation guide on either Flutter's official website or our official website. Step 3. Once you have your development environment set up, it's time to dive into the basics of Flutter. A great way to get started is to complete the Flutter Code Lab, which is a tutorial that guides you through building a simple Flutter app. This will give you an introduction to the Flutter framework and help you understand how to build and lay out widgets, handle user input, and more. Step 4. The best way to learn Flutter is to build an app. Start with a simple app and gradually add more features as you become more comfortable with the framework. It's also a good idea to work on a project with a specific goal in mind, such as creating a to-do list app or a weather app. You can start with simple apps like a counter app or a calculator app, and then gradually move to more complex apps. Step 5. Explore Flutter widgets and layouts. Flutter provides a wide range of widgets that you can use to build UI, such as text, image, button, and list widgets. Step 6. Learn about state management. State management is a crucial aspect of Flutter development, as it helps you manage and update the state of your app. Some popular state management solutions include Provider, Block, and Mob. Step 7. Dive into advanced topics such as animations, testing, and plugins. These topics can help you create more dynamic and sophisticated apps with Flutter. Step 8. Go through the Flutter documentation and tutorials. The Flutter documentation is a great resource for learning the framework. It includes detailed explanations of the various widgets and APIs available in Flutter, as well as code examples and tutorials. 
it's a good idea to start with the getting started guide and then move on to more advanced topics as you become more comfortable with the framework. Step 9. Practice, practice, practice. The best way to learn any new technology is to practice building apps with it. As you work through the Flutter Code Lab and learn more about the framework, try building your own app ideas. This will help you gain confidence and solidify your understanding of the concepts you have learned. Advanced Flutter Topics Speaking of advanced topics, let's take a closer look at some of the things you can do with Flutter after mastering the basics. Animations Flutter provides a powerful animation framework that allows you to create complex animations and interactions in your app. You can use animation controllers, tween animations, and physics-based animations to add a touch of magic to your app. Testing Flutter has a built-in testing framework that allows you to test your app's logic, behavior, and UI. You can write unit tests, widget tests, and integration tests to ensure that your app works as intended. Plugins Flutter has a rich ecosystem of plugins that you can use to extend the functionality of your app. Plugins can provide access to device features like camera, location, and sensors, or integrate with third-party services like Firebase and Google Maps. To learn more about these advanced topics, you can check out the Flutter documentation, take online courses, or join the Flutter community to learn from other developers. Conclusion? So, there you have it, the roadmap to learning Flutter in 2023. By following these steps, you can become a skilled Flutter developer and build amazing apps that delight your users. Remember, learning Flutter is not just about acquiring technical skills, but also about joining a supportive and passionate community of developers who share your love for Flutter. So don't hesitate to ask questions, share your work, and contribute to the Flutter community. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel for more videos on Flutter and mobile app development. See you in the next video.